Arrival, directed by Dennis. I got just got to look at my phone because I'm not sure how to pronounce his surname, but I believe it's Villeneuve. <laughs> Dennis Villeneuve. I f sorry, I think that's how you say his surname. I am pathetic when it comes to pronouncing um, certain names and words in general. Anyway, but Arrival. Let's get straight into it. Absolutely loved this film. I was really, really looking forward to it, but it kind of creeped out of nowhere. I didn't really know this was coming up until about a month, maybe, before. Um, I loved Sicario. He's also attached, he, well, he is directing Blade Runner 2. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, so, yeah, we got Arrival. Um, right, if you go into this film expecting something sort of similar that, um, to Independence Day, you are going to be disappointed. This is a spoiler-free review, so again, I'm not going to give anything away, but um, yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed this film. Um, Amy Adams, you might know her as Lewis Lane in Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. Her performance in this is, she was really, really good. I really dug her performance. It was very sort of grounded, and she delivered this sort of sub dude kind of performance you could say but it it just felt real and authentic and um she did deliver a really good solid grounded performance and um same goes for Forrest Whitaker he's not really kind of he's not one of your main characters he's in the film uh, quite a bit you could say but he's not sort of front and center but um the mo you know, some of the scenes that he is in, some of the moments, again, I thought he delivered a really, really good performance as well. Um, as this sort of general he's playing. Uh, but this is a beauty this is a beautiful film to look at. Um, which I'm not really surprised by when it comes to the director and all that, but um the cinematography and some of the scenes, uh, the way the film is just shot with these long sort of wide uh, shots of the camera just moving through the landscape. And you eventually see these uh, ships, these alien ships, and um, there's just some really, really, really beautiful shots in this film. Uh, it was a lovely film to look at. Same goes for the soundtrack. Film, uh, the music was by a Joan Johansson, I think, and um, it's sort of a, a very sort of, you could call it an unnerving soundtrack, maybe. It was a really, really, really uh, nice score. That accompanied a very very you know beautifully shot film with some really really good performances from all the cast really i mean uh jeremy renner as well i'm not a massive fan of jeremy renner in the marvel films as hawkeye uh, and i think this is actually the first non-marvel film that i've actually seen jeremy renner in but um i again i really like this performance in this film um in, in a way he actually surprised me a little bit um, I also love how the aliens are sort of introduced in the, the film. It's done in this very sort of realistic uh, way, as if it's actually, you know, this is the, it's the way it would happen in reality. I mean, there's nothing really, really far out there. I mean, it's the way these aliens are introduced and um, with the ships. And you don't quite see the ships to begin with. You know the ships are there, you know, and the alarms are going off and there's jets in the sky. And you know this sort of threat, or is it a threat, is there, but um, you don't quite see it. And it's like, it's, it's like, oh, you know, you, you, I found myself thinking, oh, where is it? Because you see in all these sort of uh, news videos and um, you're looking for it. And I just love the way and how he introduced uh, to you, uh, the, you, the audience, to actually first seeing these uh, space, uh, these ships. And again, it all goes down to the very sort of you know majestic way this film is directed. Um, even the moments where you could lose a sort of a, you know a grip of reality, he still retains it just purely because of the way this film is directed and the way the film looks. And um, when you see, uh, you know, when you do see the aliens, um, or alien. Um, when you do see it, it's like it doesn't kind of throw you out the film at all, and um, I kind of you know, and, and that, I, that was great. I found it to be a very very emotional, uh, film, 
and a very important film especially for the current times that we live in for the very very current uh, events that have you know that have been occurring uh, I, one comes to the top of my head Trump uh, and America and you know obviously that happened about a week before this film before I seen the film uh, before the film came out actually I think and I watched this film and I was like wow I mean there were some really strong powerful messages in this film that all sort of come to light and it as it unravels towards the end of the second act into the third act i think i don't think they could have released this film at any other time i think this was just the right time to release a film like this very very uh so it does really make you think um and it doesn't treat you as a sort of brainless uh, member of the audience i mean this film has a lot of sort of brains and it you know it does make you think and uh, I was constantly trying to work this film out right up and towards the end but I felt exhausted but in a good way and I was I was emotionally exhausted as well and, uh, and I, that's all down to the very very good performances from the cast especially Amy Adams I can't stress how good she actually was in this film she was really really good and the film again the film Technically, is you know it's a masterpiece. Um, technically, I mean from direction to sound to lighting to the music. I mean it, this this for me, this film was pretty. It was spot on. Um, it was masterful, and I uh, I think that's also driven even more then by the performance from the cast and Amy Adams. But again, it all goes down to the message that this film has, and I found it a very deep and powerful message that is sort of reminiscent of what's happening today and in the current sort of economic and political climate. Uh, there's probably things that I even missed. And um, yeah, this, this, this is definitely a film that I really want to go back to again and again and again because it was just such a well-made film but with such a strong, powerful message and... I really, really liked uh, Arrival. Uh, when it comes to doing my top 10 movies of the year, without a doubt, I'll tell you now, this will probably be in my top 10, um, I think. So, uh, yeah, and I'll also look forward to bringing you Val uh, very soon, actually. I don't know where this year have gone, but this year have flown. Anyway, my, my uh, grade for Arrival will be an A+. Plus. <laughs> Yep, yeah, I highly recommend you see Arrival. Don't go in thinking Independence Day. Um, you know this is a film that makes you think, and uh, doesn't treat you as you know as a sort of dumb audience member. I mean, it this is quite an intelligent film. So yeah, uh, very 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 good film. I highly recommend it. Uh, just don't go in expecting Independence Day. Um, all that shower of shit that we had, which was the sequel to Independence Day Resurgence. Yes, it's nothing like that, let me tell you. Um, that was one of the biggest disappointments of the, of the year. Let me tell you that right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you like what you see, please hit subscribe. And what did you think of Arrival? Have you seen it yet? Um, let me know below uh, what you thought of uh, what I think is a very, very good film. But I mean, maybe you disagree. Let me know below in the comments below. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you again for watching and I will be seeing you guys soon.